Look, man, I'm done with the... Oh, it's you again. Back to my bathroom headshots, huh? All right, man. Yeah, that's the studio bathroom, man. If you ever need to book it, Series LA, downtown, come on. I'm going to tell you about the headshots y'all keep asking for. All right, come on, follow me. I got y'all. You see, first you got to get the... Nah, wait, before any of that, let's get to it. All right, man, we doing headshots with Nicks today. The way I like to do it, I'm with my guy Keith Powers, Bay Area native, also a diehard Niners fan. You might know him from his things from Straight Outta Compton, playing Dre's little brother Tyree, or one of his newer movies, The Tomorrow War. Amazing, phenomenal actor. He and me have to do some headshots. You know how to come through and deliver like the milkman. Pause, whoa, hold on. Anyways. Let's get to it. I'm going to tell you about the continuous lights I use and what setups I like to do with it. And then I'm going to put the flash on the camera. Because when I put the flash on the camera, that's another style I like to do for the headshots. Gives it a real classic pop look as well. Anyways, let's start with that. So when I do the flash, these are the settings I put up. As y'all can see, I got the ISO on 200. Shutter speed, 1 out of 200. Aperture all the way at 11. Lens I used, either a 24 to 70. But here, we use a 70 to 200. Now when you put the flash on the camera, you see the looks you get? Blown out background, perfect. You know what I'm saying? Looks classic already, you get that pop look. It gets a nice on the face, it's not crazy blown out, you know? But the key is, look what he's doing right there, look at that, water. That's light work right there. When you're talking shooters, <laughs> that's a hell of a shooter. Yeah, but anyway, when you keep the subject on the back, that's how you kill the shadow. I personally like that, minimal shadow. Just a little bit. You know it's there, but you don't even know it's there. Anyways, if you're going to pull a little bit more back, as you can see, I busted the ice up to 400. That's if you step back, or if you just put the 70 or the 24 version on the lens. But you want to keep it around the same vibe. Because continuity, that's going to be the word of the day, guys. Now, when we're talking continuity, basically means you got to keep it the same. But that's enough for the flash. Let's get to the other setup I like to use. I didn't see a flash of time. Yeah, nah, I, yeah. I was confused. <laughs> Here's a setting I like to use for the two light setup. I got the ISO on 800, shutter speed on 1 200. Difference now is we're going to put the aperture from 11 down to 2.8. Classic portrait headshot. Now, when you think headshots, you think this depth of field, a little blur in the background, not too much. Classic headshots. Any actors, up and coming artists, they gonna need this. Press packages, they got you. That what brand we're using? Godox. I got the SL150, and then I got the SL60. I put one on the left, one on the right. Put the subject in the middle. You can light both sides perfectly. Just the big bro, little bro of the lights. If it's any budget, I swear. If you ain't getting it, you gonna get it with this. As you can see. The shutter speed stayed the same. ISO we raised up a little bit, but the real difference is you can drop your aperture all the way to 2.8. So it's not gonna be everything super hard and crisp and pop like the flash. Now it's like depth of field portraits. Like I said, more of the classic look to it. One more, one, two, and three. All right, let's take it off. There you have it. I was shooting with me and Keith Powers, and I put the link for both of these prices up. So y'all can go get it yourself and show me how y'all gonna shoot it too. Right here, bro. Look at this. Oh my god. Once again. Look, man, when my guy Keith Powers, we got some headshots in. Hope y'all can figure y'all's out. So y'all can see. I'm gonna see yours. I'm gonna see what y'all do, man. Shout out to you for